Well, soldiers in Zimbabwe have broadcast a message on state-run television after shooting and explosions were heard in the capital, Harare. A man in an army uniform denied that this move amounted to a military takeover and said that President Robert Mugabe and his family were safe. He said the situation would return to normal once criminals around the president had been brought to justice. Sarah Corker reports. Soldiers and armoured vehicles on the outskirts of the Zimbabwean capital. Small numbers, but enough to raise concern. Hours later, explosions and gunfire were heard in the city, and the military took over the state broadcaster. We wish to assure the nation that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, and Commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes. This dramatic turn of events comes just a day after the head of the armed forces had threatened to take action over the sacking of an influential politician. We must remind those behind the current treacherous shenanigans that when it comes to matters of protecting our revolution, the military will not hesitate to step in. The general was referring to the sacking of Vice President Emerson Munangagwa. A long-time ally of Robert Mugabe, he was once seen as a favourite to succeed his lifelong political patron. His dismissal last week was viewed as a move by Mr Mugabe to hand power to his wife, Grace. Robert Mugabe is the world's oldest head of state. He's been in power since 1980, but this dispute over succession is now escalating. And in Harare, this was how people reacted to the news of military movements. What is needed right now in Zimbabwe is to, 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 to remove this Mugabe family in power. If there is this implosion, the implosion is good for the citizens of Zimbabwe. The military said it expected a return to normal life as soon as it had completed its mission. The US and UK embassies have urged their nationals in Zimbabwe to stay indoors due to the ongoing political uncertainty. Sarah Corker, BBC News.